Okay. So, first of all, they're asking for its angle. Now, again, what, would we, what do we know about tangent, though, anyways? Let's go back. We know that the tangent of some angle is equal to y over x, right? The other thing that I should automatically be able to draw without blinking an eye is my trigonometric or is my unit circle from the first quadrant. So before I take my test, I'm going to want to make sure I can do exactly what Mr. McLogan is doing right now. Bam, got them done right there. And I know that this angle is pi over 6. This angle is pi over 4. That angle is pi over 3. Correct? Everybody agrees with me? Kind of? No? So forth. So what they're basically asking us is which one of these angles, when you take the y-coordinate over the x-coordinate, gives us negative square root of 3 over 3. Now, again, forget about the negative for a second. Let's just deal with positive for a second, right? So what I would do is why don't we just, why don't we just start from the top? Let's do a theory of elimination. Let's do tangent of pi over 3. That is equal to square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half. That simplifies, because I've been doing this so often, to square root of 3. That's not it. What is the tangent of pi over 4? You guys should already know this one. That's just going to equal 1 because they're the same, right? So can we use the elimination to realize that it's going to be pi over 6? Yes, we can. But let me just show you real quick. Square root of 3 over 2. The 2's divide out. You're left with 1 over square root of 3. Rationalize the denominator square root of 3 over 3. However, what was our issue? That's not our answer, though, is it? We have an answer that, or we have a problem that's negative. But what is our restriction on tangent? Tangent has to lie within the first or the fourth quadrant. So pi over 6 is in the first quadrant. So what angle would be down in the fourth quadrant? Negative pi over 6. Done. Okay.